Hello everyone, I am Baron Dipitus, and I am joined once again by my wife, Blaze. And we and we are going to read through The Last Yandere. Uh, once again with Blaze reading all the female parts and me reading all the um, male voice parts. <coughs> so, my wife's getting a sweater because apparently it's cold or something. <laughs> you stick your tongue out at me? How dare you? Anyway. Mocking me. That's my job, isn't it? Chapter 1. I am a survivor. Three years ago, I lost my memories. Of course, I didn't remember how. It could have been a car crash, a great fall, or maybe it's a case of me forgetting because I didn't want to remember. A real reason? A tumor, as I've been told. It was an inoperable brain tumor. Normally, I'd have zero chance of survival. Fortunately, my sister had connections with this huge organization. It was an organization that involved several corporations. They had access to technologies that the public wasn't aware of. They told me they could save me. So, these brain surgeons and scientists did some out-of-the-box procedures on me. And today, I walk this earth cancer-free. I was grateful for my second life, even though I had forgotten about the first one. Recently, one of the companies involved with this organization asked me to participate in a test of sorts. They said I was the only viable candidate for the test at the time. I agreed. I did owe them my life, after all. It was cool, actually. All I had to do was touch this huge triangular thing, and if, and if I was able to make it fly using my mind. If I succeeded, it meant their neural link tech was feasible. Basically, telepathic communication with electronic devices. Eventually, this could lead to things like texting without using hands, or drawing on tablets by just staring at the screen. Imagine playing video games with your mind. Games like Proto Dare would be so much easier. Unfortunately, the technology seems to only be compatible to me at the moment. So, all hope for the tech is on me, which means it might fail. When I made that triangular thing fly, they were ecstatic. But when it came to weapons testing, I couldn't make it work. They said I lacked a killer instinct. I, don't, I didn't know if it was a joke or not. I am a bit of a wimpy guy. Eventually, they sent me on their way. But they do mail me free medicine to suppress the possible regrowth of my tumor. So, here I am. A product of misfortune. But now, I am stronger. I am hungry. Perhaps it was the brain damage, but I found my calling as a designer. A graphic designer that at his design pitches. Despite beating all these challenges, I still couldn't overcome my stage fright. Stage fright and lack of confidence overall. Both banes in my love life and career. But I am confident in my graphic design. Jeez, are you planning on using that sap story for your pitch? Hey sis, I didn't know you'd be home early. Well, I'm glad I did. Word of advice, little bro. If you're gonna sell yourself, focus on you. No one really cares about your story. That's a little harsh. People only care about what you can do for them. It's a fact of life. I'm sorry, sis. It's just that that's the story I'm most confident to tell. That mustache, though. Every time I, I look at it. <laughs> it's so... And also, you may have seen earlier, he had, he had this plaid suit. Fully plaid suit. I, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> People don't care about huge organizations or any of these magic science voodoo unless it affects their lives directly. Oh, and about what you said about not being confident, don't tell them that. Are you trying to win over Apps or nah? Courting a company is like courting a girl. You have to show value. Give them a reason to want you. Act like the prize. You're the catch. You think they'll hire you out of pity? Oh, and speaking of courting, get a girl. You know we can't be the last members of our family. You don't remember, but our family has a sort of legacy. It needs to live on. You can't put all the stakes on me. That's too much pressure. Fun idea. But you better get at it too. You haven't had a boyfriend in years. Hey, at least I had relationships. Not like you. But I don't want to tease you any further. You need to be at your best state of mind now. You used to be great at this, but I bet there's a part of you that still is. Go after your dreams, brother. Don't let your dreams be dreams. So now I have to think about my job interview and meeting a potential life partner, too? Doesn't everybody? It's called adulting. It's a good mix of anxiety and, of course, excitement. Don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone. 
I bet you're just asking this from me so I can finally move out, right? You're no longer a patient, right? You've been okay for years now. You're a big boy. I know you can do it. I guess you're right. I'll be gone a few weeks. Company outing. If you need anything, call me. Don't forget to take your medicine, okay? We don't want that pesky tumor coming back, do we? Good luck, little brother. Go get your dream job. I bid my sister farewell, and I walk anxiously to Apsir's address. However, I wasn't so sure where it was exactly. I feel an unexplainable urge to walk to the nearby cake shop. I decide to use the opportunity to walk in and ask for directions. Good morning! Would you like to buy a cake? They're all freshly baked and pretty tasty. So th this one actually has choice. So, um, since I know what each of these entail, why don't you, lawyers, make the choices? Go, oh, yes. Yes, I'd like some. Yay! You're in for a treat! So which flavor would you like? Strawberry or chocolate? Strawberry. Strawberry. Chocolate cake is gross. Strawberry, because you like me very much. <laughs> if you choose chocolate, she says, that's almost as sweet as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. You made my day. I really needed that. To be honest, I'm a little off today. I'm just not together. Why? What's happening? Big presentation, and it's for Apps or Incorporated. You know where their office is? Oh, I know where their office is at. It's, um, the red oranges building across the street. So I'm not lost after all. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Thanks, miss. Oh, yes. You're right where you're supposed to be. Close to me. <laughs> you're really funny. Funny how? Like I'm a clown? I amuse you? Oh, no, no. N nothing like that. I'm just playing with you, silly. Good luck, sir. Enjoy your cake. Oh, no, wait, don't go. Stay here. No, no, um, don't do that. Just go, go, goodbye. <laughs> I head outside and see the building the cake shop lady told me about. I didn't realize Abster's office was so near. I check my watch, 2 p.m., still an hour early. I still had lots of time to spare. Had I realized earlier, I would have stayed a while longer. That cake shop lady was kind of cute. She's kind, too. She was really fun to talk to. Wonder if she's like that to every customer. Hope not. Maybe it was all sales talk? Building rapport is part of marketing, after all. Hmm. And that is exactly what I should be focusing on. Building rapport. Just that. No distractions. Uh, but she was so cool, though. Maybe I should try to talk to her about it. Uh, but if I come back, she'll think I'm a creep customer or something. I'm sure she gets asked out all the time. She sees new faces every day, and I'm sure some of them have more guts than me. So maybe she so maybe she got confidence from that? There could be a positive correlation between success and appeal. Maybe. Okay. New game plan? I'll make up for this. Next time I see a cute girl, I'm gonna ask that girl out. It's a good practice for confidence building. A good way of networking. Plus, I gotta build new experiences, too. Huh. For some reason, all this overthinking made me less nervous about uh, my pitch with Apsir. I don't think that's how it usually works. I enter Apsir's conference hall. Looks like I got here a little too early. Hello. What can I do for you? Are you here for the meeting? Uh, yes. I'm here for a meeting with Mr. Guerrero. This girl is so cute! I made a promise to myself. I have to ask this girl out. Oh, it's you. Didn't you get the text? We had to postpone the meeting. Text? I don't remember my phone ringing this afternoon. I checked my pockets, and I couldn't find my phone. Oh, no. Text! Oh, no, I seem to have left my phone somewhere. That's too bad. I hope you find your phone soon. Pardon my manners. My name is Maya. Unfortunately, the apps are CEO missed his flight, so your meeting has been moved to tomorrow. No problem. I'm available for tomorrow. Question is, are you... <laughs> I'm leaving the choice to you this time. <laughs> oh. Joining the meeting, too. Okay. Take the cop out. <laughs> yes, to be honest, I've got some hard questions for you tomorrow. Why don't we have a preliminary discussion today? If only to speed up the proceedings for tomorrow's meeting. Hmm, that's not actually a bad idea at all. Um, so shall we talk about it here, or... Nah, I think we should take this outside. Um, why...
there's a nice resto close by. <laughs> huh? I'm here to propose a new design for Apsar, right? There's this resto I did design work for. If I showed it to you in person, it'll look much more impressive. Just promise me that, if, if you like it, you'll put in a good word for me. Okay, makes sense. Meet me at the parking lot in two hours. I'll get some work done first. In the meantime, maybe look for your phone or something. I'll see you at five. Don't be late. Technically, I've got to ask the girl out, but I need to better understand what my priorities are. I might screw up my chances of getting work. Getting her to say yes was a confidence boost, though, and it's not like I tricked her or anything. That restaurant is a pretty good showcase of my work. The logo, the palettes, the menus, everything looks great. Courting her shouldn't be my goal here. Getting Apsar as my client should be my top priority. Still, it would be nice to get her number, though. Wait, I still need to look for my phone! I must have left it at home, I'm pretty sure. It's 3 p.m. now, not much traffic on my way home. As soon as I arrive home, I start turning my house upside down trying to look for my phone. Not here. Could I have been robbed? Nah, I must have dropped it on the way to Apsar's. I decided to give up on my search. I didn't have much time left. I clench and unclench my fingers, stressed. How can I be so careless? With a sigh of resignation, I call my network provider to report my missing phone. I grimace. I then open up my laptop to change passwords for all my social media accounts. I post a status telling my few friends to delete my old number. I hope someone actually reads it. I run back to Apster's parking lot. My watch tells me I'm late. I must have lost track of time. Mia must be miffed. I can almost picture it. Oh, hey! I don't know where she... Um, I mean... Hello, cake shop customer guy! Nice to see you! You left your phone in the cake shop. I decided to wait for you here to return this. Um, my name is Kara Gentner, by the way. It's only fair for me to introduce myself. Sorry, I already know your name. Had to go through the phone to figure out who it belonged to. I learned a lot about you. A little too much. <laughs> so it's only fair you get to know me, too. Oh my gosh! Thank you! It's alright, you saved me a ton of trouble. Thanks, Kara. You're a great friend. Friend? Yep. Um, alright. Yeah, I will be your bestest friend. Your only friend, too, if you want. I love you as a friend. I made a great friend today. So, how do I repay your kindness? Oh, oh my gosh. We can, um, go to the park? Watch the romantic sunrise as great friends. Sounds good, Kara, but I already got this thing planned with this girl from Apsar. By the way, have you seen a short-haired blonde with glasses around here? We were supposed to meet here a while ago, but I came in a little late. Oh, that bit... Oh, I mean, I've never seen that girl in my life. How could I have seen her? Why ask me? Oh, she must have been miffed and left. Forget about her. We two are going to have a great time. As friends. Yay! I love the friend zone. Right. Best of all, there won't be any pests to get in the way of our love. <laughs> Lovely time, right? Funny thing, I already announced that I lost my phone, so no texts or calls tonight, I guess. Good. Good. We walk together and make our way to the park. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly dark. Kara isn't saying much. Maybe she's enjoying the scenery, too? Feels good being with her. A nice walk to end the day. Right now, I feel much more comfortable with her. I don't feel as awkward. I like her company. Even the silence was enjoyable. Thank you for taking me with you to the park. It's nice. So, how did your pitch with Apsar go? I bet you impressed them, huh? No, the meeting got moved to tomorrow. To be honest, I'm still nervous about it. You shouldn't. Don't pressure yourself so much. Don't worry too much. Whatever's meant to be happen, will. Do you know how Apsar Incorporated is? They're a little hard to please. Why'd you think I know anything about them? Well, since you work right across from them and all, maybe you got something. Yeah, I know about Apsar. I play their games a lot. My favorite is this platformer game called... Um... It's called... Oh, I'm bound to get this wrong. Proton Dad? Photon Deer? That's it. Proto Dare. It's called Proto Dare NES, Kara. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I assure you, I'm a fan. It's a pretty good game, right? Playing it was all I ever did before things got complicated. Anyway, like I was saying, I really like it. Complicated? What do you mean? Well, I came to an age where I longed to meet my mom. You never got to meet your mom? Never. But life got even more complicated when... When... When I lost all my friends. How'd that happen? They all died. All of them? Jeez. I'm sorry, Kara. How did they pass? I just remember hanging out with them one day. Some of them died the next days. And the rest? The rest of them woke up dead. Wait. How does one wake up dead? Because you're alive when you go to sleep. Wait. So by that logic, you can go to sleep dead and wake up alive. You can't go to sleep while dead. That's redundant. Okay, my head hurts. Oh no! Is it my fault? Well, possibly no. You see... Hmm. I'm not too sure if I should tell you. Well, if you feel like you shouldn't tell me, then don't. I feel like I did put you in the spot with all my questions. I do owe you some sharing of my own. Thank you! Don't worry, it'll all be kept secret. I lost my memories. I had a tumor of sorts. I forgot people, events. I feel like an empty shell. I had no idea what I did then. Sometimes there's fragments, but nothing significant. I often feel uneasy about it. So I searched for photos of me during that time. There are very few, though. Of course, people told me what I once was, but I felt like I was trusting them with my identity. I grew tired of people telling me who I am. I didn't want to depend on that. I prefer to make my own me. As you can imagine, I was depressed for a while. I felt like I had an empty mind. I felt hollow. I came across Absur's games. For some reason, I felt a real connection with them. I felt happy. So that's the reason I wanted to work for them. You probably think less of me now, that pathetic story. Huh? I'm sorry, that story's pretty dumb. Just, just forget it. Actually, no. That made you ten times more interesting. I don't believe you. Think of it this way. You decided to build a new future for you. You freed yourself from the past, completely. Master of your fate, if you will. That's pretty brave of you to, too. Besides, you can make a whole set of new memories. But of course, one must realize no one is really free from one's past. You still have certain aspects to your identity that you can't let go. Ethnicity, family, people you've made promises to, debts, connections, everything else, it can all be bliss. Your life goes on, free. This is the deepest conversation I ever had. You don't know that. You could have had more edifying conversations before. You just don't remember. This makes me wonder, too. If no one remembers a conversation and it hasn't been recorded, did it ever happen? Well, in reality, it did happen in that case. But isn't reality constructed by our brains? What if... Never mind. Our talk seems to be both personal and philosophical. And you make cakes? You should teach! Picking desserts is not in any way less valuable than that of other jobs. I never stopped dreaming of doing exactly that. I'm sorry, that was insensitive of me. I'm not too sensitive about stuff like that. Thank you. I may have literally forgotten my manners. I should thank you. I don't get to talk to people that much. Well, they're missing out. Don't flatter me too much. By the way, thank you for listening to all of that. Uh, sharing that made me feel good, actually. It's getting dark. We should probably head home soon. Yeah, I should prepare for tomorrow, too. Got other plans? Why the sudden rush? It's not you. Don't worry. I just hate it when cop cars make the rounds. I just... Uh, have this unexplainable dislike for sirens. Okay, then. No judgment here. See you around, maybe? See me at the cake shop tomorrow. I have to go. I enjoyed spending time with you. You should go home now, too. See you tomorrow, Kara. I'll be sure to uh, keep the convo topics light tomorrow. I... I have to go. Take care. Didn't expect I'd trust her enough to share what I've been through. I like her. 
She encouraged me and I and didn't judge me at all. Fun. It's only been a day and I can feel our rela our friendship blossoming. I wonder if this could lead to something more. I feel excited. Nah, I feel like it's too early to be thinking about such things. Expectations like this lead to pain and misery, as I've been told. I decided to look up Kara's profile. I didn't find any relevant matches. Practically non-existent. No social media profiles at all. Weird for a pretty girl her age. Other girls like her would have flooded their accounts with selfies of the cake shop. I searched census databases and records. None that would have matched her year of birth. Could she have given me a fake name? Maybe she has a boyfriend and didn't want me finding out. I hear a knock on the door. As I peeked through the keyhole, I saw a familiar face. The man who saved my life. Good evening. I was in the neighborhood and thought I should drop by. How is my favorite patient? I'm good, Doc. Never been better. Have you been taking the medicine? It's imperative that you do. Of course, Doc. That goes without saying. Is there anything wrong? Oh no, child. Don't be so serious. Nothing's wrong. But I have to admit, I did have a reason for coming here. I was wondering if you'd like to have another shot at flying the Trinemesis. I think you'd be able to pull it off now. Trinemesis? Is that the huge triangle thing? Correct. I thought I was too much of a wuss to pilot that thing. Well, you did go through a life-threatening illness, but I believe your mind is much more capable now. What does the Trinemesis even do? It's a weapon, isn't it? Yes, a weapon. Nothing that can help. Something that can help us eliminate any and all threats to our world. Things are different now, child. At the moment, the tech only works with you. You have to have that killer instinct to be able to properly test those weapons. You used to have a lot of faith in the Trinemesis research. Faith is always beautiful, unless it's misplaced. Tell me, you don't want to resist these opportunities, these responsibilities now, don't you? Embrace. Don't resist. We can't force you to use it. It only works when your mind isn't fighting against it. We need you to take this responsibility. I can't. I'm not ready for this sort of thing. I'm sorry, Doc. Maybe another time? I understand. As I said, I can't force you. But I know there's a part of you that wants to. Let it take over sometime, okay? I'll try, Doc, but don't hold your breath. Chapter 2 I feel a sense of dread. Perhaps my, my anxiety acting up. I have to make sure I don't mess up my pitch later. I arrive at the cake shop a few hours before meeting with Apser. I remember the promise I made with Kara to meet her. I'm astonished by how much I feel like myself when I'm with Kara. Maybe a talk with her can get my head straightened out. I check the cake shop. It was open, but there was no sign of her anywhere. That's too bad. I was really looking forward to seeing her. Oh well, I'll sort out my car thing later. Good afternoon, Mr. Guerrero. Nice to finally meet you in person. Okay. So, should we start the meeting now, or should we wait for Miss Mia? I'm sorry. I'm not in the best of moods. Don't you watch the news? I'm sorry, I don't. What happened, sir? Miss Mia was found dead in a park not too far from here. Foul play involved. There aren't any leads. I intend to help law enforcement, uh, local law enforcement, as much as I can. That's shocking to hear. I don't know what to say. Say, weren't you having a nice chat with her yesterday? You invited her to go out with you, right? Yes, I did. I see. Well, no harm done. She did call me and told me about it right after you left. Not trying to play detective or anything, but I just can't fathom how something this horrible can happen. I want to know as much as I can about her last days. Hopefully I find something that'll help the investigation along. Have you learned anything about her death, sir? Do I know anything pertinent that might help the case? I'd rather not say. Did Mia have any enemies? None. She lived a short and carefree life. Do I know anyone that would have had a motive? Well, I have a hunch. Just a gut feeling, I guess. What time did you come in here yesterday, anyway? Around 3 p.m.? What you said doesn't add up. 
Is there something else you're not telling me? No, I just misspoke. I have nothing, nothing to do with this. You're utterly suspicious, and that goes without saying. You better tell the truth, or I'll... I think I may have met someone who might know something. Really? Who? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Her name is Kara Jetner. I didn't realize it until now. And why do you think she might know? She was jumpy and nervous when the cop cars were about to make their rounds. She even took me to the park. It just seemed like too much of a coincidence. And you think she might have been involved? I don't know. Maybe. I think the I think police should look into her. I'll call the police so they can get the, your statement. I hope it will. My love, how dare you betray me? Why would you do this? You killed him! Why? He was getting in the way of us being together forever. So did Mia. She tried to steal you from me. Why would you ruin things? This is so disappointing. Why did you have to betray me? Help! We could have been so happy. Things could have been different. I'll miss you. Bad ending. So we need to go back to chapter two. Okay. So you said, yes, I did. So the question is, what time did you come in here yesterday anyway? Well... Around five? Or was it two? He was early to his appointment. Yeah, I thought the appointment... Oh, two then. Ah, uh, yes. Just a few hours later, she was gone. I can't believe it. Huh. You were trying to contact you all day. Why did she have such a hard time? I lost my phone. So you lost your phone, you say? Did you find it? Yes? Or no? No is a lie. We'll go with yes. And where did you find it? I uh, left it at the cake shop. I apologize if I made you feel like I was interrogating you. I've been on edge all morning, and I didn't know who to trust. Uh, wait, oh, sir. I have something to say. Condolence to Officer <laughs> Inc. I'm not dying over this girl. <laughs> we'll have the meeting at another time. Take care, good sir. Just as I was about to leave, I noticed an arcade cabinet near the exit. Despite its antagonistic appearance, it looked oddly enticing. I'm sure this wasn't here yesterday. <clears throat> I would have had this irresistible urge to play it. The feeling is overwhelming. I felt I should ask about it. Sir, was this arcade cabinet here yesterday? What game does it contain? That's an arcade port of Progenitor Dare. It was a game that Mia was quite fond of. Unfortunately, it stopped working years ago. So it's here as a sort of tribute to her? She loved the game that much? Yes. Instead of flowers and candles, Mia wanted something like this. She talked about it a lot. It's a shame that it start, stopped working. What's well, broken? Why not have it repaired? There's nothing broken. It looks like it stopped on its own accord. I would have done a lot with it, help further our game development. How can an ancient game like this help? It's the earliest stable version of Progenitor Dare. It's called that for a reason. It's the ancestor game of all our Dare games. Proto Dare, Dare Alpha, and our upcoming Dare EXE and Dare Evil EXE. All of them originated from this. I have to take a look. I have to have a look. Save your energies. It's not going to do anything. I touch the cabinet and feel a sort of electricity coursing through it. I hear an ominous humming. I feel its vibrations. The game wakes up. The game is working after all. Someone will contact you soon for a schedule on our meeting. The way Mr. Guerrero was staring at me, I doubt he trusts me. Did he really think I had something to do with Mia's death? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I did at one point think Mia Kara was to blame. What's wrong with me? For all I know, Mia could have just been mugged. And then there's a part of me that thinks Mia killed Kara killed her. An unexplainable dislike for police sirens? And again, some people do have phonophobia. Who am I to judge? Hey! Sorry I had to bail on you this morning. I had to do some pest control. <laughs> pest control? Yeah, um, mosquitoes, right? My house of mosquitoes. But they're all dead now. Maybe she's just a hard-working woman? Hey, is something bothering you? You seem like you're worried. Is it because of Absurd Pitch? How was it? 
If she knew if she knew about the things running in my mind right now, Mia's killer and my intense curiosity for that arcade game, she'd be weirded out. Uh, yeah, my meeting got postponed again. One of the apps her employees was murdered. Yeah, I can relate. That's so inconvenient. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll get the chance soon. More time to prepare, right? I guess so. I really enjoyed us hanging out yesterday at the park. I haven't really gotten the chance to explore the town. Wanna walk together? Sure. Seems I lost track of time with all my thinking. How did we end up here? Hey, are you alright? You've been spacing out all day. Are you tired? You can head on home. It's okay. No, I'm good. I'm sorry, I must have been still affected by what happened with Mia. Oh, why? Did you like her or something? You did, didn't you? Not that I'm bothered by that or anything. Not at all. I did think she was cute. I sort of planned on flirting with her, but I didn't really like her. I feel off talking about her like that now. I guess it's just surreal. All of it. One moment you're talking to someone, the next moment you find out they're gone. I see. Hmm. Maybe to cheer you up, we can talk about something fun. Hmm. Like, uh, fave color? Hmm. I guess sometimes I like a particular color, but I never really stick with one. You? I guess I kind of like red, because people are filled with them. It's a very passionate color. I'd paint my walls red if I can. Ah, interesting set of reasons there. You know what? You're just interesting in general. Oh, you too. You know what? Everyone is unique. You, most of all. I'm not sure if that was a compliment or not. Thank you, nonetheless. I assure you it was. I'm sorry. I get kind of nervous when people compliment me is all. Well, I hope you get to know me better. I'll always visit your cake shop, Kara. So that means we're dating now, right? We are. Because you'll see more of me more often and we'll get to know each other better. Yeah. I guess I'll be eating more of your delicious cakes then. Another eventful day. That was a roller coaster ride of emotions. I should head on to bed soon. I'll be seeing Kara tomorrow. My eye, catch, my eye catches something on the floor. A tooth? I decide to throw the tooth away. I need to go to sleep. The past days have been especially tiring. There's that plaid suit. <laughs> Rested from my sleep. I feel very energetic on my date with Kara. Seeing her smile like that makes my heart happy. We take a few selfies together in front of the cake shop. The photos were all cute, almost like a perfect couple. Nice running into you, sir. Mr. Guerrero said he'd like to have the meeting with you tomorrow morning. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. See you there. Who was that girl? Why did she approach you? I need information. Cut it out, Kara. She's an employee at Apsor Inc. Don't worry. That's vague. I need more information. What for? Just a little... general cleaning. Uh, okay. Anyway, I might need to head on home. I need to prepare for the pitch. Hey, before you go home, why don't you try my new recipe? But it isn't your ordinary cake. It's very, very special. Yes, sure. It's not laced with anything, right? <laughs> I hope she didn't take that the wrong way. It sounded like a joke, right? I hope it did. Very funny. Of course it ain't silly. You love this cake. Every other cake would taste like dirt after eating my cake. I made sure I had all the finest ingredients in the cake world. When you take that first bite, I assure you, it tastes like heaven. Just one bite and you'll go crazy with sweets and flavorings swirling in your mouth. It tastes so delightful, it'll send chills down your spine. Okay, Kara, you really sold this cake well. I'm in. I want this cake ASAP. She shouldn't be overselling that cake. What she should be doing is lower expectations is to lower expectations so as not to disappoint. So do you like it? I already ate the cake? Oh, I did. Best in the world. I loved it. Yeah, I knew you would. Listen, I've been going through a lot. You don't know it yet, but you made me feel okay. I mean it, and I know this sounds crazy considering we just met, but for the longest time I felt so empty. For the longest time I was in a trance, but you made me snap out of it. You were special to me, more than you know. I knew you were the one. I finally found you.
The one I've been wanting to spend my whole life with. Kara, why do you even like me? I'm a perpetually single loser and I got nothing. That doesn't matter at all. I just love you. There, I said it. And in this crumbling world, I want you to be by my side. Are you sure? This feels a little too fast. I'm no expert, but it, it is also sudden. I am. I love you. You don't need reasons for that. Can't you love me too? Please? Kara, I don't know you well enough. But despite all this, I want to know you better. And once I get to know you better, maybe I'd love you. You actually said it! Yes! Please let me be your girlfriend and we'll see where this goes. What do you think? Yes? <laughs> um, sure. What am I doing? Did I just agree to be in a relationship with a woman I don't know? This is... Amazing. Cause she scares me and I didn't want to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I might be the insane one here, but I guess it couldn't be too bad. She is kind of cute, but what am I doing? I'm not really sure I know how to handle someone like her. Did I just let my hormones betray my rational thought? This is the happiest day of my life. Please, please be for real. Don't play with my heart and don't ever leave me. I never thought I would go this way. I'm sorry in advance for what I'm about to do. I love you to death. Wait, what? What? How did I get home? Wait, it's the morning of the meeting? Already? How did that happen? I'm almost late. My eye catches something on the floor. The tooth from the other day? I was so sure I threw that tooth away. I decided to throw it out again. Chapter 3. I made it just in time. Finally, I'll get the chance to impress the Absurd Dev himself. I've got a good feeling about this. The reason you should hire me is... Spare me your practice spiel. I will hire you. Only because you were the only person to have made Progenitor Dare work again. The game stopped working only a, f a few seconds after you left. I want you here every time I experimented on it. Compiche? Understood. But can I play the game? The curiosity overwhelms me, sir. Go ahead, but don't expect much. It's a corrupted monstrosity. Honestly, sometimes I wish to destroy that cursed thing, but I can't. I feel like the secrets within it would give me the knowledge to make the next Dare games even greater. Once again, I hear ominous humming. The game looks primordial. The game turns on. I feel like my head is in a vice. My head is throbbing, but the excitement consumes me. Warning, this game is not for the faint of heart. User, user discretion is advised. Progenitor Dare. Oh, this thing. This thing, yeah. Blaze has seen me play this before. So the AI in this one is Aerie, which... Um, it's never explained in the games, but um, Darius himself said in the in the Absurd Discord server, it's artificial intelligent intelligence for Rothstein Institute AIRI, and then you know, I will help you win this game. Good luck, which you'll hear in later Dare games, and then and uh, Dare Dare.exe and Dare Evil.exe, and then um, Aerie said, collect diamonds to progress through the game. Collect diamonds to progress through the game. So basically, you just gotta keep walking around until you find. The diamond in the level. There you go. There are... Be careful. be careful. There are... I believe there are 13 levels. Just like this. Not too bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Blaze has seen me play this. So Blaze knows some of what's, what's coming up. I know exactly what's coming up, and I, I know what I need to do as oh, well. Oh, good. Having watched you try that, you kept dying? Yeah, there's, there's one part that was... Do not let them get you. Catch you, I thought they said. But I guess it was get you. Oh, um, maybe it's get you. I don't know. I always forget exactly where the diamond is in each level. The best way to speed run this is to uh, actually make sketches. It's usually like the last place you look. No matter what I do, it's usually the last place I look. Yep, of course. 
There we go. Do, do not, not die. Do not die. It's kind of like what you'd tell me to do. Careful, honey. There's a there's an enemy there. After after my character dies. Mm-hmm. There we go. When at first you're like, what do you mean don't die? There is no way to die. There's nothing here. And don't let them catch you. What do you mean? Well, like, it's first of all, that's ominous. Second of all, this, this creepy voice as well, right? Mm-hmm. Here it is. So if I stay here, the snake should... There it is. Yep. So yeah, there are a few corners to where you're safe. Do not die again. <laughs> In case you didn't figure that out the first time, or did I tell you again? Because you likely died last time. I think this is where... Yep, the troll thing. I don't know what that is. Like I think that's a big gaping mouth in the middle. I don't even know. Dang it. Honey, you're supposed to jump over it, not into it. What makes it difficult is like you need to know like what else is here. There we go. So like is this wall, it's hard to jump. Oop, there we go. It's hard to jump over it. You I, you probably can't jump over it actually. Um so yeah, there we go. There is a monster inside of the tri nemesis. Ah. Which is not something we've heard of before, before this game got updated with, uh, before the last Yandere got updated with uh, Progenitor Dare. There it is. Yep. Yep. I knew it was there too. I knew, I fetching knew it was there. I feel like there's another one somewhere. Yep, there it is. This one I can jump over. Okay, this one you actually have to just just go fast. Just just do it. <clears throat> yep, this is the part where you got stuck when it this was is the part I kept getting. Time. Yeah, this is the part I kept getting stuck on. I could not find any strategy except to just go fast and not mess up. <clears throat> <laughs> what did I just tell you? Don't mess up. At least in this one, there's unlimited lives. Just barely. <sighs> Yay! So it, it looks like it's close, but it's actually it's pretty far trap. away. <laughs> it's a trap, exactly. Like you have to go uh, like all over the place to get this one. <sighs> Gosh, I thought that was. I was gonna was... say, why didn't you go that way? I don't know because I I forgot that's how this was. Whatever. Yeah, you, you literally have to. You almost literally have to. I know what you did. You killed her. You killed Mia. So there's the tri nemesis with those snake things. I 
I wake up unable to move. I couldn't remember where I was or how I got here. I attempt to stand, but my wrists are, were stuck. I look down and notice my entire body tied down to a chair. If you think this fun, this is fun rope stuff, this isn't. We're not there yet. I guess that tumor-like device in your head synced with the game, huh? Darius was beating you up when he found out about Mia. What is this, Kara? Come to think of it, maybe that thing in your head is made of the same stuff as that arcade game. Huh, that explains a lot. Still, Darius says you're still hired. He says he still needs you. Guess ambition trumps everything else for the dev, huh? What did she mean by tumor-like device? Am I in a dungeon? Are you going to kill me? Where are we? Relax, sweetie pie. I'm just making sure you're safe. Safe from what? Safe from the clutches of ladies who try to steal you from me. Isn't this a little extreme? You haven't seen anything yet. I'm prepared to go all out. I'll do anything to protect my man. And if you think anyone can stop me... Breaking news. Absur Inc. attacked by UFO. How did I get home? I noticed something on the floor. The same tooth. Why did they keep coming back? I threw it away, right? Did I? Little bro, thank goodness you're safe. D dungeon. Dungeon? The Absur building exploded just an hour ago. It was all over the news. I was so worried. No. Oh. When I heard the news, I just had to head home. I've been calling non you non-stop since this afternoon. S sorry. Why doesn't your phone ring anymore? Now I had to cut my outing short. Whatever. I'm just glad you're okay. Don't scare me like that, okay, bro? Gr uh, girlfriend. A little off timing with the news there, baby bro. You have a girlfriend now? You? Wow, I've been gone a week. <clears throat> pictures. Okay, let me take a look. I didn't know you were the type to take selfies with his girlfriend. You hardly take pictures of yourself. Besides, I'm sure she's ugly, but whatever. Let me see. S see. You're all alone in these pictures. Just you. There's no one else in here, brother. Please tell me you're joking. Please. Is everything fine? Oh my goodness, we have to see the doctor. All right, brother, hang in there. I'm going to look for Doc. Take some medicine. We're going to get through this. Everything's going to be all right, baby bro. Your sister will make sure of it. If this has something to do with your brain tumor, we'll just make it go away again, okay? You have to be strong for me. You're the only family I have left. Doc will fix you up. I know he can. I'm sure he's here. Everything's going to be all right, baby bro. Your sister will make sure of it. Just stay here for a while. I won't be gone long. Ah, oh, yes. Good work, Lilith. It seems like the medicine worked exactly as we predicted it would. He's completely catatonic. Are you sure he's able to control the Trinemesis weapon? He already did. That attack on Absur went exactly as planned. Well, actually, the performance exceeded our expectations. Transferring Kara's consciousness into the device in his head? Outstanding move, Doc. You are a genius. Well, that's one way of getting a killer instinct putting a killer's consciousness in your head. Indeed. I was astonished at how he knocked the teeth out of Maya in the park. Well, technically it was Kara, but still. Now, with the Trinemesis under Kara's control, the end of the world is at hand. A new world shall take its place. Once the world witnesses the indestructible Trinemesis unleash its wrath, the world will unite. A world ruled by one government. A world with a manageable number of people living in paradise. Chaos brings peace. Destruction bring births new opportunities. I don't care if our organization disagrees. It's the right time. Absur, Jagger, and Jones. They can't delay us any longer. The Guidestones in Georgia have given us guidance. Doc, who would have thought that Kara would be the key for us to save humanity from itself? 
When we ended the Yandere experiments, I knew Kara was worth saving. But I must admit, I find it funny that this man here was falling for her. Did he really think she was real? How desperate. He basically fell in love with his altar. No, don't be mean. He couldn't con discern what was real and what's not. What's the difference between reality and imagination anyway? Yeah, I know about the brain hallucinating conscious reality theories. But still, what a weirdo. That Kara's consciousness is as real as ours, Lilith. A complete duplicate of the real Karin Gentner. Eh, what if this Kara rebels like the other one? The device that houses her is programmed to delete her should she rebel against our orders. Thanks, Doc. Shall we begin with shall we begin preparations? Yes. The end of the world is upon us. Rejoice. That was merely a demonstration of the of Tri Nemesis. Soon a new world will arise and we will be its creators. Let your mind stay at our cake shop, my love. Let it relax. It will be over soon. Liar. Yes, I knew you were before. I've always had a crush on you. Turns out the blank slate of you was more open to someone like me. That's not what this is about, murderer. Really? This was your plan. You promised to do whatever it takes. You wanted this. I am a pawn. Do not blame this on me. No. No, this isn't right, Kara. You have to trust me. I don't think I can forgive you if... Really? And what if you get your old memories back? You'd hate me for stopping you in the Rochester Institute. You know what happens if I don't obey orders. I will get deleted. Not only that, you'd remember me as somebody you hate. Either way, it's a lose-lose situation for me. I'm not sure that's the risk I could take. Please be rational. After this event, the whole world will have less women for me to compete over, too. You know you belong only to me. You know I don't deserve a deletion. You know I can't take the risk. Please understand that you've already made your choice years ago. I told you, I want to start a new life. I've changed. This is not what I want now. Aside from that, you are obsessed. This is not love, Kara. Love starts when manipulation stops. I know my glitchy nature freaks you out, and you hate that I kill people, but please cut me some slack. I did everything I could so we could be together, because that's all I can ever have. What else would have ha what would have happened if you had fallen for Mia? Or anyone else? I'm not as pretty as other girls. Life would have been meaningless. You are literally the only person in my world. You're all the friend I'll ever have, and all I'll ever need. This is too much. You can't the end the you can't end the world because I used to want it. Things change. You really believe I'll forgive you if you push through with this? You can stop now. But the risks... Kara, I know you've been put in a tight spot. I'm sorry, but you have to do the right thing here. Kara, there is still a way back from this. We can forget all that's happened here. We can put this all behind us. Maybe I can forgive you. Maybe? You expect me to risk my life? Risk the past you hating me and all the family's plans on a maybe? I guess that's what love is supposed to be. I just wanted to be happy. Promise me you'll find the real car for me, okay? Please take care of her. Come here, love. This is my happiness. This is where I belong. Now, try nemesis show your true power. <clears throat> no... Impossible! How are you still speaking? I'll take it from here, love. What the... How, do you, how did you sound like Kara? I won't let you end this world. Impossible. Kara, don't you dare! If you continue your insubordination, you will die. I am prepared for that. I already have my happy ending. You stupid idiot! I guess this is it. Farewell, my love. Kara. The death toll surpassed the 10,000 mark. The media blamed the catastrophic event on a power play. Unfortunately, the public believed this sinister cover-up. Whoever is pulling the strings is still out there. I started working with Apsar Inc. as a design consultant. Despite the busy schedule, I am sure I have enough time for my promise. 
Kara once said that it would be nice if I could take care of the real Kara. Well, I often wonder if the real one would want that. True ending. Kara, is that really you? And that's it, the last yarn dairy. Ugh. Wow, that was deep. Yeah, it was quite deep. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, all the best. <laughs>